Ramadan Mubarak or Ramadan Mubarak. I wish to thank President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed and the people of Somalia for their warm welcome. And I'm happy to be back here during the holy months of Ramadan. This continues my annual tradition of Ramadan solidarity visits, which dates back to my time as High Commissioner for Refugees. Every year, I have the honor of visiting Muslim countries, fasting in solidarity, and sharing an iftar dinner with the people we serve. In this case, with a very gentle invitation of the President. I'm profoundly grateful to all those who helped make this visit possible and for allowing me to join in this special time. Despite several challenges, the people of Somalia continue to demonstrate enormous strength and resilience. During the six years since my last visit, we have seen progress on peace, security and sustainable development. In my talks with President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed and the government yesterday, we discussed how the United Nations system can continue to support Somalia in building on this positive momentum. I commended the President's efforts to advance peace and security and highlighted the importance of strong collaboration with federal states to address the threats posed by Al-Shabaab. The United Nations is committed to supporting national and regional efforts to protect human rights and combat terrorism and violent extremism, including through the African Union's transition mission. I also met civil society representatives and was deeply inspired by their vision and energy. A safe and inclusive civic space is essential to good governance and can help prevent and reduce violence. The full participation of Somalis, women and young people in political life, including the Constitutional Review, is critical. I welcome the government's commitment to women's rights and representation and call for the full implementation and codification of the 30% quota for women in elections. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, my last visit to Somalia in 2017 was during a large-scale humanitarian operation to prevent famine. Today, the situation is once again alarming. Climate change is causing chaos. Somalia has experienced five consecutive poor rainy seasons, and this is unprecedented. A devastating drought has already resulted in the tragic loss of 43,000 lives in 2022 alone. It has led to the displacement of 1.4 million Somalis, with women and children making up 80% and rising food prices are naturally aggravating anger and malnutrition. Poor and vulnerable communities are pushed by the drought to the brink of starvation, and the situation can get worse. Between now and June, 6.5 million Somalis are expected to face high levels of acute food insecurity, so the risk of famine is still looming. And I congratulate all those that were working to avoid famine in 2022, from the government, to the UN agencies, to the civil society, for the way in which successfully they, avert, they avoided famine last year. We must do the same this year. And so urgent humanitarian assistance is needed for some 8.3 million Somalis. And we must now act to prevent a catastrophe. Yesterday, I visited Baidoa and spoke to the families who have lost their livelihoods to drought and insecurity. I am deeply moved by their struggles. And I, also I was also impressed by their resilience, their courage and their determination to rebuild their lives. But they cannot do it alone. Here in Somalia, I strongly appeal to donors to stand with Somalis in their time of need. The international community has the responsibility and the interest to support Somalia with the resources needed to defeat Al-Shabaab, to build resilience and to sterilize the areas liberated and to provide much needed humanitarian assistance. The 2023 Humanitarian Response Plan, which seeks 2.6 billion US dollars, is just 15% funded. When famine looms, this is totally unacceptable the international community must step up and dramatically increase the volume of funds to support Somalia in this moment of difficulty. It is unconscionable that Somalis who have done almost nothing 
to create the climate crisis are suffering its terrible impact, just as they are beginning to emerge from years of conflict and insecurity. Ladies and gentlemen, Somalia faces many challenges, but in the spirit of Ramadan, I also bring a message of hope and renewal. The United Nations stands in solidarity with the Somali people. Let us come together to advance peace and security, sustainable development and human rights, and build a better future for all Somalis. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Vanaksan. Thank you.